The finishing touches of the largest public art project celebrating the Adirondacks will likely happen this year. Completing a mural in Johnsburg, New York, that's taken more than a decade to create. In the coming months, volunteers in the hamlet of North Creek plan to finish grouting more than 200,000 porcelain and glass tiles on a group of retaining walls, finalizing a project that began in 2011. The grouting process will help those tiles stay in place for decades to come as they portray timeless activities and animals of the Adirondacks. Lopping. A moose smeared with concrete creates an uncommon animal sighting in the Adirondack Park as a team of volunteers grouts the mosaic tile wall in North Creek, New York. It's a time-consuming but final step to ensure tiles applied over the last 12 years will remain secure along the 230-foot long mural. This is huge. It's like gigantic. We've traveled across the country. We do a lot of things up here. Um, we travel to the west. I've never seen in any community anything quite like this. I think everybody has really enjoyed being a part of, of a project that's both ongoing and huge and really impressive. Yeah. But you can do all around the head of the moose right, and, then just do, and then just do the head of the moose. Mural designer Kate Hartley says the North Creek Mosaic Project celebrates the nature and recreation enjoyed on a purely Adirondack day. I chose to do an April day when there's skiing on the mountain, but there's already rafting on the river. And we exaggerated the time period a little bit because we have some flowers blooming and all, but you know, that just adds to the beauty of the Adirondack nature and recreation. My family comes up to the Adirondacks a lot. We love to hike and camp and ski and all of those things, paddle. And the wall, the mosaic has all of that. Uh, the way Kate has planned it out, she's incorporated all of those things into the wall. Saratoga County resident Lauren Zappa spent nearly a hundred hours during the last decade installing tiles and lending her creativity to the wall. So there's skiing, there's paddling, there's rafting, there's camping and hiking, and it's, it's all here. So I love that it's really representative of the most unique things about this area. Before the mosaic attracted the eye with its fun, fish, fowl, flora, and fauna, the wall used to inspire indifference and even disdain as it dominated the view for coffee drinkers across the street. The genesis of the mosaic was actually a conversation that I had sitting at the cafe across from what used to be a really beauty challenge wall. It was a big concrete retaining wall with just like stains and mold on it. And a friend challenged me to write a grant and see if I could get a grant to do a mural on, on the wall. And so I did. And then I did and was committed to doing this amazing project. Grant money and donations from around the community and the state provided the funding. Local residents and visitors donated thousands of tiles to the project. And more than 2,000 volunteers worked to make the mural happen. Hartley designed the mural, leaving lots of room for individual inventiveness among the volunteers, many of whom she trained by holding workshops, summer camps, and school sessions for the young folks. Every kid in town, everybody who's like from 10 years old to about 25 worked on it at least once during their school career. Every year Kate would do workshops with the second graders and they would make different small elements for the wall. But one year they made these beautiful baby deer, these two right here. And they were able to take a field trip and come right to the wall and install them themselves. But I mean, second grade. I mean, these kids are seven, maybe eight years old. They're just marvelous, they're beautiful. As the mural took shape, even passers-by who showed an interest in the process would get recruited. Often they'll often say something like, oh, I wish I could do something like this, or I could never do something like this. And Kate will say, well, here, just put in a piece. And she'll just stop what she's doing and take the person and have them install a piece right on the wall right then and there. And sometimes it's a one-time thing, and you know they're just passing through, but other times they will come back the next day and work for an hour or whatever. A lot of the folks who created something for the wall, it might be an animal or even just a little dot that they put in, they come back and they visit their piece years, years later 
and, and even bring family members. And every time someone comes to visit them, they bring them all to the wall and they show them their contribution. And that's really a special thing. Everybody's really physically tied to this place and this wall by their artistic contribution. Yeah, just, just really smack it in there. And all right, go around, there we go. As people who made the art look at the mosaic, they're reminded of many stories about its creation and its imagery of plants, recreation, and animals. While we were working on the first and second wall, a fox every once in a while would run down these stairs right behind me, in fact, and <laughs> surprise us in the evenings by running by. And so one of my friends created a fox, and that's actually on the wall next to me. North Creek resident Debbie Lee not only got her gloves dirty for the project, she got her feet wet for it too. So I'm in one of the inner tubes that's depicted on the wall. When I was planning the third wall of the mosaic, we had a conversation with the homeowner who has the house above that section. And she requested that there be people tubing on the, se the section of river in front of her house. And we didn't have any pictures of that. So two of my uh, best friends and I went on the river and went tubing and took pictures of each other in various poses. So we went tubing with cameras and wine and <laughs> came down the Hudson with results and started building these women. We just thought, well, why not just have it be us? And then we had a ball like finding like the pieces of glass that would be our swimsuits and we, we have our glasses of wine in the tubes and all that. <laughs> A young member of Lee's family suggested an insect for the wall, its wings attached to a moving story. Debbie's grandson, Ethan, uh, found some purple shells in his mother's jewelry box after she had passed away. And when he found those purple shells, he said, oh, they look like the wings of a butterfly, and can I make a butterfly to put on the mosaic wall? And so, of course, the answer to that is yes. It was just a beautiful project that he put on the wall. He did this as a tribute to the memory of his mother, which is one of the most touching things on, on the wall, really. Memories get permanently attached to the wall, just like the tiles during grouting. That's why Hartley calls it a mosaic of stories. North Creek resident Aidan Tuma calls recollections of learning and creating precious. I made this hummingbird and this daylily with my grandmother. It was fun to make it with my grandmother because in the future I can show my friends, even kids in the future, what I've done in the past for this town. Zappa's son Josh worked on the wall off and on for years, making a rock with his grandmother, a tree with his mom, and these mushrooms. It's nice to be able to look back through pictures and have these memories of doing things with my family up here and creating art that will be here for years. I know a lot of kids personally who have participated in um, the making of this mural and it brings a lot of tourists and people who really love to look at art and things in North Creek. I came up here from Glens Falls, New York. I had seen this online and I wanted to see it in person, my friends and I and my husband. Um, and I just, I feel like I wish that I lived here closer because every time you walk up and down the block, I just see something different and I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with the beauty. Lee never considered herself an artist before she taught herself to make this malodorous mammal. It makes me feel like an artist. Makes me feel proud. Many people say they gained confidence in art while working on the mural. After creating this meganser, Zappa began making mosaic projects of her own. It's really great. I feel like I have a new art form that I can now participate in as well. As for Hartley, she gained something else from the project, her partner of eight years. He initially learned about her request for tile donations and he kept returning to the wall to supply more materials. And the community of North Creek has gained a major source of pride as tourists and residents marvel at the mural.
I would be surprised if there's anyone who lives here that doesn't have a piece on the wall. So, and I think that's really important for communities to have projects like this that they can get behind and that everyone feels a part of. You know, it's not just something someone did to them, it's something they did. And so, I really like projects like this. Organizers say they plan to finish grouting the mural by the end of this July. The North Creek Mosaic Project is helping bring tourists to the hamlet in Warren County, and it's listed as an Adirondack attraction on several travel websites. Visitors will find the mural in North Creek across from Cafe Sarah at 260 Main Street. You may see a list of major donors to the project on our website, mountainlake.org. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.